Good morning, folks. Let's take a look at a couple simple examples for calculating axial stresses. So first, let's calculate the axial stress for an angle section. This is how it works. Next, let's calculate the axial stress for a Z section. This is how that works. Those are just two simple examples for calculating normal stresses on a part subjected to an axial force. The key ideas are we identify our section, make sure we understand all the dimensions. We then idealize our part, idealize how we're going to divide up the cross section so we count for everything and don't double account for anything. We construct a table numbering each flange and then putting in the width and height of each element. And then we calculate the area of each element, sum those up, that gives us the area of the entire section. Once we have that, the average stress will just be P over A. Often, we will report our results in either PSI, or if it's a large number, is KSI, following our basic rule for appropriate significant figures. That's all there is to it. Enjoy.